Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino inviting you to an exceedingly brief and simple episode concerning macOS Sequoia. For I managed to install it here with the help of the Open Core Legacy Patcher onto a MacBook Air from 2017. And please be so kind and allow me to zoom in so that I can submit to you proper proof as to the veracity of these wild claims. I have to say the installation practically had nothing remarkable to it. I was simply following along with the defaults and as you can see here we are on this MacBook Air from 2017 running Sequoia. So the installation was simple, straightforward and successful and things mostly work. Now what didn't seem to work all that great is an old version of Final Cut I had where the operating system complained that I need to update it from the App Store otherwise it wouldn't be working and I decided, just decided to ditch it entirely. Another thing which did not work is the Lisp environment SBCL, Steel Bank Common Lisp, which I installed via Homebrew initially. And on Ventura, this worked. But having updated from Ventura to Sequoia, that is skipping Sonoma, SBCL no longer does work. Of course, I do have alternatives. Homebrew also offers ECL, Embeddable Common Lisp, in the tradition of Kyoto Common Lisp, as you can see here, mid 1980s. And you certainly also have the option of the excellent Closure Common Lisp, which works as well, but SBCL, as of the time being, simply doesn't. I reinstalled it and this error simply keeps appearing. What fascinatingly did install and seems to work quite flawlessly is xquartz from xquartz.org that is an x11 windowing environment for mac os and having installed that i have the incredible pleasure of presenting you with sensible things like x eyes which are <laughs> working just nicely or advanced editing facilities as in xedit huh huh 1980s unix is greeting you here or huh? hey there in this wonderfully antiquated system font or we have other pleasures such as Xcalc, the calculator, which, you know, despite its weird look, is allowing quite complex things. Let's, let's torture it with a factorial of factorial of 100. You see, computes it without complaint or perhaps simply with X clock. And yeah, very funny that I triggered that right now. I didn't plan it, but it is high noon indeed. So <laughs> X clock is really offering here just that fascinating little image. Other than that, the system does not appear to be noticeably sluggish to being unusable. It is, of course, everything is, of course, taking a bit of a moment. Let me start, for instance, Microsoft Word. But it's not a desperate situation where you would say, my God, I could never work with that. And, and how long will this take? And, and I cannot accept that. On the contrary, the system appears to be relatively snappy and is not unpleasant to use at all. 
Light browsing, of course, will be possible as well. I am not going to do here any hardcore resource intensive things. But for instance, if you just want to pick up the news on the BBC, you can just go for bbc.com. So that's Firefox loading this. I have not loaded it today and you can see it is asking me for cookies. So you can see it is indeed possible to use this machine now for a couple of years ahead just the way as if it were new, I dare say. And with that, ah, X clock advanced just a little bit. Yeah, we can see now the second hand of the clock. <laughs> with that, I think you gained a bit of an impression what the system generally looks like. Perhaps it might be useful as a last little endeavor to restart the thing and see how long will it take for it to come up again. If you want to stop the clock, then do so. And here now the machine is restarting. And let us see how long that will actually take. That does take a little bit, but shouldn't be unacceptably long. All right, yes, please, that SSD. So it loads, not too swiftly, but you know, once it has loaded, Usability is actually very nice. And perhaps there's one final question which many of you might ask, and I admit I have not yet tried it myself, and that is, does the camera work? Now permit me to enter my password. We came up in about a minute. Okay, so yeah, the mouse cursor just increased. I like to have a big mouse cursor, yeah. <laughs> and here we are presented again with the system. Let me perhaps turn on photo booth. Wireless is working just fine. So there was no issue with that. You can see the touchpad is working just nicely. And photo booth is jumping around in excitement and perhaps will appear anytime between now and never. <laughs> Security features if you want to install programs have tightened even further, so you need to extra allow anything to run. And photo booth is coming up here strangely colorfully. But yeah. Hi there, this is working. <laughs> so, we are having the important elements all online and macOS Sequoia via the open core legacy patcher is thereby definitely an option for a 2017 MacBook Air. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I very kindly thank you for having been here today. I hope to greet you here soon again on this channel for further adventures. And if not subscribers yet, oh, what an interesting possibility, use the iPhone as a webcam. Well, if not subscribers yet, <laughs> you're very welcome to join our friendly little community. And I might actually just try that thing. Can I use the iPhone as a webcam, as a final treat? I didn't even know that I can do that. Put your iPhone in a horizontal and stable position in the stand to connect it to supported apps. 
I'm is is this horizontal? I'm not hundred percent sure. What what will happen now? Okay, this iPhone business, I'm not sure it's working. Or maybe I'm just too impatient. My iPhone itself is here. Mirroring should not be possible in the European Union. Yes, unable to connect to iPhone. So that is exactly as expected. And once I figure out how this camera thing is working, I will be pleased to let you know. Until then, have a wonderful time. See you here hopefully soon again. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Post dictum. Looks like I got this camera to work. Here on the photo booth, when you go for camera, ay, come on. When you go for camera, ah, photo booth, here's the camera menu. There you select the iPhone's camera. And as it is the front camera and not the back camera, I can show you infinity. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is a glimpse into depths unseen before.